not a guest as such because I'm a Kwapa before. And the other is a very beautiful lady. So without further ado, I'll let them introduce themselves and tell us what they do and why they're here. So Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. Yes. So my name is Edward Sira. Uh, I am a film. I am in the business of film and also in the business of uh, event planning. Also, I'm a business person. I'm a finance by profession, and I'm glad to be here. Okay, Karibu Sana. What about you? Thank you so much for having me here. Yes. I'm Mary Nganga, and I'm a student at Nibs Technical College, okay. and I pursue journalism and mass media communication. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Sira Sira, you told us that you are a business person, you're an entrepreneur yeah. in the event organizing side where you organize different events. So maybe you can give us a little, a brief story of how you got yourself into event planning and finance. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the, we always don't differentiate between passion and profession. Uh -huh. Yeah, my passion is in, in event planning. So I started way back in 2018 uh, and with the time I'm now growing up. Uh, I started with events that combine all the arts like music, uh, poetry, modeling and all that. But now we are big. We are now doing just one event at a time. Mm -hmm. If it is music, it's music. If it's modeling, it's modeling. Uh, and of late, Umeko Kifanya, the modeling part, the pageantry part. Maybe you can tell us about that. Where did that dream come from or how did it start? Uh, it starts by just an idea and just trying to view yourself in a way that we know that we have just countable events happening in Kenya. So I saw an opportunity in events and also the events that we do have in Kenya or in most times they are not events that are well planned. Yeah, so I started the, the pigeon tree, I started it last year because we were we started gaining popularity in the film industry. So people are like, Can you guys try and organize for us events? So we did a, a trial and it was a success mm. during the pandemic because that time people were, were urging or people had that urge to get themselves or to to attend an event. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's the, the theme of the pageantry event like? What's, what were you looking for or what criteria did you use in, 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 in choosing your models and choosing what you will represent? Uh, we gave everyone an opportunity and a chance to take part in that uh, event. Yeah, then uh, during the choosing, we now we now came into who's the best in, in this and that, who can represent our country when it comes to the national level, because this is now a national event and we are competing against 26 African countries. So we were basically choosing education, beauty, and also with brains, and also communication skills and also represent representative, someone who can represent us. Maybe you can tell us the name of that uh, pageantry event itself. The event is called Miss High School Africa. It's an event that is happening in the US come August 28th. So we did a nominations that was uh, on April last month, April 17th, called Miss High School Africa Kenya. Yeah, so that event was to choose the best person that will represent us when it comes to, when, it, when August comes. So you're dealing with high school students or university students, ama hakuna kutofoto shiana? The reason why it's Miss High School, it's, it's an event that is between 16 years okay. to 20 years. Okay. Yeah, in Africa, most people we do study sometimes when we are old because of financial challenges social interfamily and uh, all that so it's an event basically for 16 years to 20 years and it cut across people that are in high school there's some people who are in college and they are young so they were they also took part in the event mm, uh, having corona in mind how are you able to reach the different high school students around the country uh, we use social media since last year because the event started last year on november and it was to work with you. So we used social media, we used emails, we used uh, we used messengers to reach the students who are not around. Mm. Yeah. So when they closed school, they were available. And was it uh, something that was virtual or more physical, where the students came for the auditions and the competition? So we went through. We went. 
we fought the negativity of uh, giving up. We did a virtual event because it had to happen. So we did a virtual event and went online with the, with the new technology. So only uh, the, the people who were allowed were the models, the judges, and the media team, because we had to respect the government objectives and uh, uh, obligations. Uh, how did you ensure that there was balance in choosing students? Like we spotted kuna students kutoka at Kenya High, 10 of them. Like, uh, how did you maintain that balance in choosing the students? We had an online voting okay. where we chose everyone from different counties. There are even those who took part uh, via just recording a video. So we, we, we started with a, an online competition, then we, we narrowed down mm. to now getting individuals in Nairobi County, Kisumu County, Busia County. Yeah. And for someone who wants to enter into this kind of business that deals with modeling and fashion, what skill set do they require? Uh, first, you need to be someone who, who do things fast, okay, who act fast. Also, you don't need any skill. You just need to be passionate about it and also to know how to approach different organizations. Because uh, uh, individuals, we do fear trying something new. But uh, it's a good business if you know how to communicate and also to approach different businesses and parastatals. Okay, talking about approaching different businesses and parastatals, do you have, is it self-sponsored? Am I, you have sponsors, people who are supporting you in doing this? At the moment, I won't lie, I have sponsors because for that event, it could not happen without money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I have sponsors who I do. Uh, I do approach them during events. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, talking about uh, the process of, you know, uh, sending out an invitation to the auditions. Maybe you can you can list uh, to us how how it goes because is it a key model kwa showcase me but uh, to do what happens in the background. So what happens after having the idea of starting this business and you want to host an event? What's the process like? Uh, first and foremost, you need to identify individuals and to register them for the event. So after posting it, you need to get people who, who so many people will show up, but not all of them will register. After registration, we have uh, training. And this comes at a fee. You know it's a business. So for people who are interested, you train them. For those who are not interested because it's a competition, you give them that that the freedom of getting their own trainer and doing the training. And then we narrow down, we come to the event itself, where we, we plan the event, the dates, when it's happening, who will be the so-and-so, the MC, and all that. Mm. Then during the event, we have individuals who, are, who cater for the makeups, someone who caters for the guests, and also how the event will be running. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how do you ensure that uh, your event or the whole process does not affect your students' education because these are high school students who are still in school. Yeah, education is an important and a key thing in our society. And that's why even this event, it is part of ensuring that ladies are learned because the theme is educating young ladies. So uh, we give them, we always advise them and we have individuals who talk to them that this is your career, but don't forget about education. Mm. And also we do it during the holidays. Let I mean, a student can get time to, to do other things like drug and substance abuse. Now we engage them. Oh, so it doesn't event. happen during the curriculum? It doesn't happen during the curriculum. Okay, so, so uh, Mary, yeah. you were the winner of Miss High School Africa. Maybe you can tell us how how that has made you feel? How do you feel about it? First of all, I will say thank you for all who supported me yes. as a Thanksgiving. Second, I felt so nice. Furthermore, thinking about how my life was in, be in behind and now that I am the, I'm the representative of Kenya in the U.S. Mm. come August 28. You talked about how your life was before. Maybe you can tell us. How was it? Okay, it was so tough being in the modeling industry. Okay. Something stress, you know, something, no money. So sometimes you have to give in and just accept who you are furthermore. So in life, for you to become a model, 
lazima upitie changamoto changamoto ziko so like so lazima unini uji sustain like ujiamini to everything you can do it all all, all in all like to charge it like a vision and uh, how long have you been modeling furthermore honestly this is my second in the half second in the half year yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So before you met you met Edward uh, have you worked with other agencies or uh, it's just uh, a personal thing No I've been I'm a mobile model like I'm just calling where I should get the things then I go out there Okay so so uh, and maybe you can tell fellow med models uh, some of the skills that are required for you to become a model Okay, the skills that have been really required for you to become a model, for you to call it maybe being a model, okay, you just juju and jitambu and like know yourself first. first. First of all, consider yourself. Second thing, like keep diet. You need to eat or like keep diet, keep your diet on. Like you send the eating junk food, being in, like you know, grow fat in your body, telling, t- thinking, thinking in your mind that oh, you'll be a model, you see. Such, such such things might might cause you not to be a model. So me Kenya neza to ambia to add you like keep fit and tambue, gelewe, so everything will be we it flow to well jitafte to market. Go outside, search for designers who ambu not have showcase be to zako. Eh, ego to never to una jingiza pole pole kwa industry na machine and lea. Yeah. Uh, maybe you need to ambia your journey through this uh, Miss High School Africa pageantry, like how it started from you, from the point of auditions to you winning. Okay, it was very tricky. It was very tricky because there were some clothes that I was supposed to go to look for, like creativity. It was tricky to look after because I was supposed to go create mine. Then I didn't think any creativity. I then I work with it. One of the creativity I according to me when I so it was so tricky me and the after trick creativity, but it cost me and then to take creativity for dump sites. So it be and then cut after waste materials and software. You need to get the address and the heart, which the heart in can express depression. Because the theme of the event was a lot was all about the depression. Yeah, so looking at so I was there looking for Nini was in years before to make sure. Yeah. Now, what lesson have you carried home from being a winner from the time you started in Pakasai? Being a winner, lesson I learned so far ni me me that too and like never give up. Usi give up even though the the road might be so tough, like it got too slow, it got too sloppy for you. You can just go down one, okay. Usi give up. Amka just dust out, dust out yourself and just walk. Mm. Yeah. And being a model and also a winner, uh, what change would you want to bring? Okay, first of all, I have two things that I might want to bring for now. I would like to eradicate poverty, first of all. How? Like, for eradicating poverty, like, I can do, like, after um, this modeling thing, for me to become a winner, your person is a chukwan invest. So after that, I can be of use to eradicate the poverty there in the homes, Place Kama Nini Kibera, Matare, the slums area you get. So places Kama Yo. I love the second thing I would enlighten talents. Like young a young girl, maybe a young boy there at home might be having talent, I make a talent yake, and I should open your tour. So Mimi ka Mimi the money that I've been like I've ni me kwanta kwan me invest, ni chukua, ni kujenayo then ni ni enlighten talent yo to it. Like pneumonia share, no, don't give up. This is the way to go. This is the way forward. Mm-hmm. See? Yeah. Now, maybe some of the challenges we may pity so far. Challenges the mob come in model. Like, challenges the mob sana. Sometimes you can be having like uh, sex threats. Unaza kwa labda na sex threats. Maybe an agency in attack a labda. You, you want to be the, like, an attack a wukwa mkubwa sana wa wukwa, but in a kwa so tricky, like, Kama ana kwambia uende nje umlete photos then ule ukikuja ukikuja kupati do no na bado alafu because of party do unashindwa so utafanya nini anakuambia for you to get that that chance to come u does na mimi ama we have something else you see ndo sasa upatie your chance mm. second thing ni income kuingiza income low income low standards unapata sometimes kama umeenda kwa agency planning you need to showcase some clothes you need to showcase some designer clothes Unaenda unakosa hiyo pesa na kata kukulipa. Picha unakosa di kuji, kuji, kuji express what you have done. Yeah. Okay. So maybe Edward you can tell us how the models make money from this this business and how you yourself you make money from this business. 
Yeah, so when you do an event, now, as I said last time, we want to, we want to revolutionize the industry when it comes to money. How do models make money? Uh, we always consider mostly the top three, and then uh, Miss Popularity and Miss Face of the event. Yeah, like them, they won. They were given awards in forms of cash because uh, at the end of the day, we need cash to pay our bills. Yeah, so when an event happens, there are sponsors who come in and they sponsor the event in so many ways. For someone who's watching out there, we have sponsors who come in. It is just us who, does it, who don't approach them. And once we approach the sponsors, they sponsor the event, they sponsor the event planners, the politicians even came in and gave them uh, awards. So it depends on the event, uh, event planner. So they make money. And also apart from money, we have things that come as educating. Like if she wins, she gets a scholarship to study for two years. She gets beauty, project, beauty products. So for now, the most important thing is when they win, they get money. But uh, for others who maybe don't win in the event, that is where there is the, the challenge. Mm. Yeah, because if you don't win at a marathon, mm. at the end of the day, in gold, silver, and a bronze. Yes. Yeah. So maybe as we oh. wind, okay, maybe as we wind up, you can tell us after. I'm a Kwan nominated to represent Kenya. What's the next step? Yeah, so as I said, uh, for the first time, for the first time in, in Kenya, she's going to be sponsored travel air, air ticket to and fro, going to the US and coming back, and also staying there during that period. When she participates in the event, whether if she doesn't win, there's that fee. It is called uh, accepted the fee that they are given when they just land there. Yeah, just to appreciate them before winning. So for now, what will happen is uh, we have an appointment with the American Embassy. We have to go to different ministries, including sports and culture, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of Education, and several companies. Okay. So kazi ni mingi kutembea pana pale while she prepares to fly. Uh, maybe you can share your social media handles where people can get you, where people can support uh, the event virtually. Yeah, we are using one social media platform in all uh, our accounts. Miss High School Africa Kenya. Miss High School Africa Kenya. Iko Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. Miss High School Africa Kenya. Okay, thank you, Sana. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for bringing Mary and congratulations for your win. I wish you nothing but the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was Edward Sirasira and Mary Mukami. Uh, Edward is the organizer of Miss High School Kenya Pageantry Kenya. And we wish him all the best in this journey and we wish Mary all the best. Congratulations. So we're going to go for a short break, but we'll be right back. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Y254 channel.